Hello. Hey, are you always struggling uh, to find your route in VR and uh, where to go, how to fly, your navigation aids, frequencies, charts, a map? Well, if you can't find it, I'll have something for you here. And that is a little nav map, a VR. Look at this. Alright, so now I have to make my turn here. In a second. And this is Little Nav Map VR. I can see where the wind is coming from. I can see the time. I have a stopwatch. Got a beautiful moving map here. And this is Little Nav Map. And if you don't know about Little Nav Map, that is a navigation tool that you can use outside the sim and you can connect it with the sim um, but with this app you can bring it into the sim so I can zoom in look at this beautiful man now it's not only this I can also see my flight plan here I'm flying somewhere in Spain and I just added a, a small flight plan just to show it to you. So I got the flight plan here, which will show me my uh, my heading to fly and the distance. But I also have some extra tools underneath my speed, the wind, 5,000 feet above ground, my barometric pressure, all these things. And you can change these as well, but I will show that to you in a second. Now this comes also with some extra layers. I can have a weather layer here, there's rain, that's right over there, there's a lot of clouds and there's rain. And not sure if it will show me now, but there's also AI traffic, but you won't see it now because I haven't connected that one to the sim as you can see I have a beautiful weather layer here is a lot of rain here there's a lot of rain but where we're going is uh, quite good for now All right then in little nav map VR you have the little nav map UI this won't show the rain layer, so you have to go to the API. And this will show your route also, and the uh, the weather layer. You can also choose OpenStreetMap, but this one won't use uh, your route. So here's your map and planned route, and then, so the top two, those are the best. And we just have to wait for the weather layer again to open. We can close it and open it again. There we go. So that is very handy. All right, next up is the settings page. So the color, there is a companion app. You have to have that running. Um, that's for communication between a little nav map, the app and the sim, and also for the weather and a radio player. Little nav map is running and telemetry is also okay. So here in the UI I can set the brightness as well. So I can use this one also at night. You can change the UI skill and the map skill to your likings uh, just to see it in VR. And then you can choose for the player plane, a clock, a stopwatch, a wind arrow, a radio player sim injector traffic and predicted traffic position you come up here you got some integrations telemetry is coming from the sim atc i can use uh, say intentions so i can read all the messages from say intentions as well i've got the open weather map and then here for instruments that's all that you see at the bottom of the page so i can see the ET to destination, I can see my fuel flow, 
maybe my endurance and then from nearest airport I don't need this one so open it again click here endurance fuel flow ETE 12 minutes to the next waypoint if I'm going the correct way of course <laughs> And you see all these, uh, these beautiful gadgets. Now, also, I can change this one. So the orientation of the map. To have it at uh, aircraft heading. But then it's hard to read what's all up there. But uh, it's really easy to see where the wind is coming from. Yeah, the wind is coming from the right. Now, what is uh, beautiful about this thing, I can see a lake up here, and I can see that lake also out there. So it's very nice to have this, uh, this map here. It's beautiful, it's not that busy of a map. Uh, I can um, disable the weather layer here. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go, and then the cross there, so I can see also the frequency of the VOR here. So if I want to see what this frequency is, I just double click it. I see the yes, the VOR 115.2. So I need to set that one in the radio 115.2. To enter switch it and then hopefully we can see the VOR there we go so that VOR is 2 and that is 1 for something what, what, zero 09 and a little bit yeah that's correct Let's see so it's so easy to do that now also if I want to see my information of my airport I can go to my fly plan double click here on Lima Echo Mike Lima I can see the runway 05 is in use with 14 knots wind 3 knots uh, crosswind I get the meter information there are no charts here but if you fly in the US you will get some charts I can see my comms, there's no comms for this um, this airport, so that's all Unicom. Isn't this amazing? Now, if I close this one, I saved a few documents, and that is from the, uh, the US. So these are the free charts that you can get with little nav map so you get free charge from the sim or from a little nav map for for the US if you want to have other charge you have to go to the uh, the end game EFB but these are free probably not really up to date they are from original from June 23 so that's uh, a bit old Oh, this one is from uh, to January 26. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. So they're pretty current. So you can have these maps as well. I have another one here. You can rotate them if you need to. So those are the maps. And you can close this one, and you get this one. And you can even make it smaller if you want to. Here we go, and then this one off. Let's see, where are we? We are here. And we're flying here in the Pyrenees. So this is a little nav map VR. Very handy. You can download it from flightsim.to. It's totally free. Go into the documentation. There is also a link where you can... Uh, get more maps from 
uh, for little nav map itself but I don't think you're gonna need those maybe the sectional charge for the US but I will leave that link in the description as well and then there is um, also in the uh, documentations is how to download all the radio stations so if I click here on the radio stations I can have some radio really really nice to have you can listen to your radio whilst you're flying let's change the orientation of the map there we go it's easier to read all the the text of course and if you want to have a, a freeware VR navigation tool and then little nav map VR is your friend it also is here in the um, in the EFB now I have to go to my settings and I have to go lower the UI a little bit because this is just a bit huge let's bring it to point point eight there we go as you can see so now we have everything in here let's disable the weather the weather map for now so you can also use it with the EFB but the downside of the EFB is that you cannot scale down the EFB in VR but it's uh, very nice to have right right guys thanks for watching this was Mike Ferdisim and see you in the next video bye bye check the mic and make sure it sound right boys